Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to explore another run um, or another episode of the No Shot Run. It's time to continue the game on the highest difficulty without shooting a single bullet or using a little bit of explosive. It is Psy weapons and melee only. And today we're up against an extremely powerful foe, the Berserker Queen in the next alien facility. In order to prepare for that, we gotta be smart. And that means really dealing with her the right way. If you deal with an alien ruler, you want to make sure that A, you have enough healing uh, because they are going to be taxing. That's why I have Sona with us. And thankfully, we can bring lightly wounded uh, troops back into combat. So we're going to take Zoo Cougar as well. As for our damage department, I would like to have Rovi. And uh, he has the axis if i'm not mistaken he certainly has blade storm and i would like zoo cougar's uh, bond mate who is um, quick feet there we go that would make a lot of sense finally i am taking both of our psi operators with us edgar alien poe has somehow um, avoided proper color in his armor. That's not how we roll, buddy. Okay, perfect. Now that that is being taken care of, uh, let's equip everybody and make sure that we're properly prepared. The way that I would equip um, against the Chosen is typically with armor for those who are actually getting into uh, close, uh, close combat. We're taking the Iconic Axe because uh, we can use uh, the throwing ability in order to uh, effectively uh, get a free attack against uh, that beast. And yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. Out of curiosity, can we upgrade the weapon? No, a couple of supplies are missing. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It will not completely change it. But still, it would have been helpful. As for him, let's give him the advanced blade. It has a tiny bit of aim improvement. And that's pretty much it, I think. We do not yet have the serpent suit, which would be the very perfect addition here. Uh, per, um, a serpent suit would allow us to freeze uh, the uh, Bursa Queen but that's not gonna work. We're going to take mind shields so that her slam attack is not completely uh, picking us up by surprise. And a hazmat vest. Does he even need one? Just wait a second, what, what are his skills? Yeah, he did not yet have fortress, so hazmat vest is perfect for him. And we got plenty of mimic beacons just to deal with the typical onslaught of enemies. I think that's pretty much a, a well-rounded team. The idea is to not get injured uh, with either of our precious Psy operatives. And now let's jump into battle and hopefully kick some alien ass. Here we go, guys. Oh yeah, target coordinates are locked in, guys. Here we go. So. Since I know that there is going to be an alien ruler here, we're going to deploy one of my uh, beloved strategies, which is really leaving the front line a little bit ahead of uh, the rest. And what that does is... All right, so far we've spotted a few packs, but nothing serious. So what that does is uh, many of our soldiers will be out of line of sight. And hence, we can uh, use, for instance, Combat Protocol in order to uh, beat it. the Berserk Queen without standing right next to her. Head now. I like the idea of the skull jacking here. Moving. Might as well do that. Get it done. All right. We're definitely not engaging yet. Oh, one of the packs will get away. 
pretty pretty clustered map very very uh, dense very close and as always with small uh, scale maps you're ending up with mainly pulling like more than one pack right so there's a pack over there which most certainly does not want to be pulled Position not yet confirmed. very good so that works out well and how about we're just going to start with a good old skulljack nice little insta kill there we go that's what i'm talking about unfortunately we get some feedback that's another two or three points of damage Sucks a bit, but nothing to be too concerned about. Alright, so what's the plan, Commander? What is the master plan? Moving up instead of healing, and I think we're going to just try to take this guy over. Making new friends. Either shut down or taking it over. We do have a Mimic Beacon as a fallback option, so I'm not terribly concerned. Let's roll the dice. And the 50-50 played out just wonderfully. Try not to break this one. Well, we've over we've taken it over with an Overwatch. What can I do? Um, it will shoot at anything that moves uh, because when you take enemies over, are you kidding me? The stress of battle is enough to get to anyone. When they get okay, what I was about to say is when you are shooting at um, at uh, when you are taking over enemies, they will uh, remain. Uh, with their original ability, for instance, if they go into Overwatch, uh, if they went into Overwatch beforehand, they will still maintain that. Okay, cool, good. Uh, so we got a lot of that sorted out. Let's see, can we reach this guy? No, we can't. That is unfortunate. But theoretically, teamwork over and let them heal themselves and then throw a beacon. Why not? Sounds like a plan. We do that with an Inspire as well, if we so decide to do that, out. and we, we could move over here. So, Insanity uh, would trigger some damage, uh, but there's also a chance to take this guy over. That would trigger more damage, but no chance to take him over. You know what? Let's just go for Insanity, real. because I love it. <laughs> We've mind controlled him. That is so mean. Now, we just got an eight man squad here. If for no other reason than uh, for, uh, to be badass. Thank you, Psyonix, for just being so nice. And effectively, the good part about all of this here is um, we inspired him so that he can simply heal himself, which means Inspire acted as if it would be a nice uh, little healing ability. I was never here. That's just how Good copy. On um, very able it can be. Could move over, not sure if we're triggering something over here. Probably we would. This guy is just going to use his shield, but no one will be in the near um, proximity of him so for now I would actually just hunker down and not waste a mimic beacon 
Oh, the only shot that we ever will get in this mission and he misses. How depressing. Of all the aliens running around out there these days, she just had to modify a berserker. Ooh, right next to the explosive terminal here, he could explode that, the Bursa Queen would be so shredded. Oh boy. Oh boy, that would have been fantastic. Okay, anyhow, um, we got Holy Warrior. Uh, funnily enough, mind control is blocked, so it stays this. <laughs> That is, that is just ridiculous. Uh, we're not going to Holy Warrior anyone because uh, that would kill us if we did. Moving over here does not uh, trigger anything. We're just waiting for uh, the Bursa Queen to get in range, sort of. And we got Roby here. Uh, problem is that this hill here blocks line of sight. I wish we could use micro missiles, that would be fantastic. It really would. Okay, can't really reach that far either. Uh. You know what we could do is, let's just get her a little bit closer, shall we? Move over here in the hopes of uh, the Bursa Queen moving with us. This is irrelevant. Whether or not there is a tower doesn't mean jack sh for us. Okay, perfect. Now we are in a much better spot. Unfortunately, she can see us, but she cannot see everyone. Combat protocol out of out of uh, the cannot be seen uh, zone. We're first of all giving eight protocol. Keep in mind you always need to be e efficient with your uh, with your moves. And part of efficiency is also using the free actions first. Nice. Even if it compromises our position, that's totally fine. Worth it. And combat protocol, since we're not in line of sight, should not trigger. Sometimes it's a bit wonky, but generally speaking, it should not trigger. Ah, it triggered the reaction. Not sure why it exactly did, because it shouldn't have. Mech is now shutting down. Okay, fair Let's enough. Clear of that knockback. Could move up and essentially start going ballistic and hit her. We do have Bladestorm. So Roby could try to do that. Um, wouldn't be able to kill her right away. Okay, let's see what else could we do. Could hit that. We're in line of sight, so it's unfortunate. Cannot reach her yet, but I'll keep uh, this guy for stasis. I think we're going to null lens her. Just because it is very, very, very effective. Unfortunately, I can't really hit it with Null Lens without hitting anyone else. And it's definitely not worth taking so much damage just to give her some damage. She will eventually move. That's fine.
But we can't. Can we see someone? Yeah, only the priest. That's okay. Um, let's give ourselves some aid protocol and I'll uh, wait with the combat protocol afterwards. The reason why I'm pre casting aid protocol is because now we're out of line of sight. Uh, after our next action, we might be again in line of sight. Just keep that in mind when you're doing uh, that. Okay, I need to find a spot or she cannot see us. Let's see, it looks about right. This here should not trigger a response. Because we're still out of line of sight. And it's the perfect moment to Enter the rift. start with a big fat rift. Not a lot of damage, but there are certain rider effects that can come from it. I'll keep the stasis. I'll keep the stasis up. Let's move up here to keep her within that zone and get some damage as well. There we go, that's fantastic. She's killing her own friends. Very good. Mind control lost. The loss of mind control, of course, is not good, but that she has killed this guy is fantastic. It means we don't need to do it. Yeah, and by standing there... I just realized that I cannot stasis her because she is somehow blocked by that little stone. Pretty awkward. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, we can't hit her. Can't charge in and charge out. Yeah, it would be a perfect, really a perfect opportunity to just shoot at her. I think we're just going for another combat protocol, to be honest. Not the best utilization of actions, but it bypasses all of uh, the armor. And she slowly takes damage. We just need to deal like one third of her damage. Uh, hit points as damage. Okay. Now we're at that point where I mentioned we're going to stasis her. There we go. Problem solved. On to next turn. Um... Nullens ranges nicely through stone, so we're just going to move away. Got it, moving. All right, Roby. I mean, technically, he could move up. But let's okay, put him going. here. For now, I'll go down. Roger, oh wow, that's unfortunate. Crit into cover. All right, stasis just has ended. Our number one target, of course, is the Berserk Queen. And this time, the Nullens shouldn't be blocked by anything, plus she should not be able to react. 
There we go. That's a solid amount of damage. Fantastic. Comet Protocol somehow allows her to react, which is strange, even though she would not be able to see. Can't heal ourselves. That's the problem here. And one way to circumvent that problem is to continue taking her out and repositioning properly. And that's, I think, exactly what we're going to do. Well, this is exactly why I wanted both of uh, the Psy Operatives to be with us. Just crowd control her. Uh, we're not going to waste the soul fire. We're instead going to heal up. I would like to use Roby in a really active role here. There we go. Shield shredded. Good. Let's continue our our onslaught here. Finishing the priest. Interestingly enough, common protocol deals a little bit more damage against the priest. Not sure why it does. Oh yeah, here yeah, because he's. Uh, he's ruptured. That's fine. I'm going to take what uh, what we can get. Freeze this down. I'm going to save that for the berserk. Matter of fact, what I would like to do is. Step up here, hopefully not trigger anything. That blocks the ladder. We know there is a pack over here, but so far it has not really moved. And let's just put a mimic beacon really down over here it should be visible right okay down here is visible might as well place it there just want to make sure that the shield bearer behaves correctly So we don't have we don't have blade storm. That's unfortunate. Can't conceal ourselves though. And I don't want to I I don't want to go away with the problem with the Bursa Queen is She's just a force to be reckoned with when you're being in melee with her. So it might might sound like a wasted opportunity, but there's really not much I can do this turn. Let's storm for Roby unfortunately fails. That's really unfortunate news. Versa Queen still a bit of a problem here. This turn we gotta wait one more round until Stasis is back up. This guy here 
It's getting a bit des desperate. Queen can clearly see us, so that's a problem. Can't uh, can't put can't put anything on um, Roby. And Roby can see the Bursa Queen as well, so would just be a logical conclusion to charge in and hit her. We'll still need about 10-15 points of damage. Let's start with a Void Rift. The rift will set you free. She will not be able to counter that. Minimum damage, unfortunately, two little upgrades on our on our Psy M's yet. This here could be some decent uh, damage. Let's try it. All right, Faith Breaker, very much resisted. Fantastic. This here technically should almost put her into the the area where she wants to flee, right? Um, just barely not enough. Unfortunately, this is also not really... Yeah, well, it could be enough. Let's try it. Yes, no, maybe. Don't tell me that the Bursa Queen is retal retaliation. No, the game instead tells me that a 90% shot misses. That is unfortunate. Help! Help! Someone help! Alright, we just lost our mech and a wave of panic just runs through XCOM. why she's allowed to even act again but apparently since we just lost our our shit with one of our um one of our specialists so that's enough for the rest to go yeah okay cool now we can now that counts as acted There we go, let's hope that the blade storm hits her. Second 90% miss. Uh, that is minor damage, but we already know that we didn't want them to get injured in the first place. That does not trigger anything because she can't see us. What we can do is we can launch a Mimic Beacon over here. Again, not triggering her because she can't see us. And let's maybe a protocol Noxus down here. Because he might be up for a beating. Who knows? It worked quite well until we were starting to miss like 90% uh, shots 
twice in a row. Alright, this should motivate her to just flee. Summon gate. Don't let that thing escape. It's trying Very to get All right, good. Well, let's give it two more slashes. That's all we can do. That's one. And it runs, and the Blade Storm is the third time that a 90% hit misses. Not perfect, but I was fully expecting a pretty messy engagement, to be honest. Time to heal up afterwards. Luckily, our skull mining has turned out to be quite good in order to just one-shot some of the enemies that we wouldn't elsewise get rid of. Very nice hit. Fantastic hit, to be honest. And this here should be a kill with Comet Protocol. Alright, cool. Well, that whole fight was pretty damn dra draining for our resources. What we need is a bit stability, a good old solid uh, handshaking, some friendship, some camaraderie, and uh, definitely some med packs. The willpower of some of the soldiers is frighteningly low. Good, and we're just waiting. To get the cooldowns back. I don't. I, I'm not going to heal for one point of damage. That's just not worth it. I'm, I'm trusting you here. On the move. All right, we got one more mimic Already beacon, there. and so far things are looking okay. Let's wait a few rounds, and we should be good to go. We still got another tower to deal with. Not fantastic prospects, but still good enough. We do not yet have any more combat protocol. I don't think we're alone out here. Good, one more round of waiting. And we should be good to go. Alright, Roby moves out. Good, we got pretty solid cover overall with both of uh, these um, little hills in the way. Got another Archon pack that we already know about. So let's try to hack the tower and maybe just take it over there. They usually don't have the best hack score. 
There we go. Control turret. Fantastic. That'll at least allow us to yeah, deal with it for now. Yeah, they can shoot at one another. I really couldn't care less. Alright, our front line is doing exactly what a front line is supposed to do. Moving forward, most of the Psy operatives are going to be in the middle. And just for shits and giggles, let's maybe take over that other tower. Oh, we just shut it down. Well, I wanted to take it over. Never mind. I suppose the towers can fight one another next round. For now, it's shut down. I actually wanted to take over both of them. Because we really don't need to kill them. All there? we need to do is plant the C4 and get the hell out of here. Position confirmed. We're going to move a little bit closer, just like over here. Go, go, go. I hope it's worth it. Very good. Let's try a void rift. No that should deal at least some board. damage to them. Very good. Doesn't trigger any rider effects, but it still deals some damage. And Zukugur moves over as well. Why isn't it shooting at the other tower? Um, the other tower should have way less uh, defense than someone in half cover. That was actually a semi-smart move, to be honest. Your existence is null. Good. Let's just get rid of uh, the towers altogether. I'm done with the bullshit here. There we go. Red master kill. Check it before you get too close. Implacable moves him right over here. Fantastic. Void rifting. What? Oh yeah. It's it's a heck tower, yeah, that's friendly fire, of course. Good, there we go. Some more damage. This seer should be out of uh, the Void Rift. And we're ending the turn. Good. Not, not the most elegant way of dealing with the towers. But it works. The reason why I'm killing it is next turn it would have started to become rogue again. And I really don't want to deal with a tower that has gone rogue. We're slowly... Uh, getting out of uh, med packs, and there's really no point in keeping those things alive. Instead, I guess that'll be okay. Let's move over through. here. I'm on it. And over right, here. Let's move already. 
and Sona could take a position up here. Wonderful. Nicely spread out group. And the last pack is probably over there. Since XCOM very, very seldomly gives you something for free, I am expecting that we're going to trigger when we're moving in. Complete shocker. Would have never guessed that that would have happened. Ever, ever, ever. Menace one five. Status confirmed. X four charges are armed. Move to the extreme. All right. Uh, opening the door. So we got one more Mimic Beacon and I'm totally willing to use it. How do I get in there? Yeah, that here would uh, work well. So we could either Stasis. Oh, insanity drop uh, some of uh, these guys. Hmm, he has a pretty solid uh, defense. Let's go and hit insanity on the Viper. Maybe we're just. Uh, just maybe we're taking it over. Yep, mind control resisted, fair enough. But you know what will not be resisted exactly? The big fat X that's going to kill you. Fantastic. That triggers implacable and. Uh, mm, with that, we can also get into a cover position. Or, alternatively, we're banking on the Mimic Beacon. Two points of damage, fantastic. She's burning, and that might be the kill for her, uh, for her. Both of the frontliners take uh, the A protocol. I'm on the move. That was not the smartest move. Uh, we can be flanked here. Should have seen that coming, but it's okay. I know how to remediate the situation. Yeah. Right play here is to move over, open the door as a free action, and throw the Mimic Beacon right up here. Which will uh, trigger the Andromedon and the Viper at the same time. Very good. So Hooger moves into cover, and just for the uh, just for the laughs, okay, let's get into full cover over here. This guy will move, and there's the Bladestorm. Third miss, by the way, on the third blade storm. Just want to point that out. Sometimes the missions are just not very kind to you. That's going to be a poison spit. Or 
or not. Really? Reinforcements now? You know, I'm just wondering, can't we just all agree to get out of here? Can I get a knee back here? Like, literally right now? Ish? Okay, no, we can't. Which means we gotta deal with that crap one more turn. There we go. Good job, quick feet. Target neutralized. All right, moving in. Therefore, we're moving out. We got a soul fire, and what's the alternative? Well, I can tell you what the alternative is. The alternative is to slaughter this guy mercilessly. Question that remains is how do I get up there? It's probably still good enough to get out. <laughs> Stunned for two turns means he cannot really do anything about it. Moving. Yeah, moving out. Just really just waiting at this point. Moving to position. I think it's not even worth fighting him because we can't fully kill him might order. as well just get out of there and make sure that Roby will be able to move out of here as well he is stunned for two turns so There's no shame in leaving him there. We could have easily uh, just waited and st uh, used stasis on him. And again, we can kill those guys. Uh, it's just it might create tension, and I might be able uh, I might lose a couple more hit points. Plus, everybody is already super low on willpower. So the chance for for prolonged engagements uh, to uh, create like um, negative mental flaws is actually a real thing. All right. One. Two. Three. Four. Five and six. Did you say so? Take care. Just See you guys the next time I'm around. Going. We Just are gone. gone. Thanks and bye bye. Well, that was a uh, closer than expected mission, to be honest. The Bursa Queen specifically. Uh, was a pretty hard encounter it's like one of those encounters where you really don't want to go into melee and half of your damage is only melee so not optimal as a setup for us good i know that we got at least one promotion out of it two actually sonar finally mr richter yeah if you spend all of your actions on move so you're automatically overwatching. We can't allow that to happen because that would accidentally trigger overwatch shots. We're instead going to go for a guardian, although it's yet another void level for us. That is unfortunate. Blade Storm, on the other hand, is a fantastic ability. And yeah, we're going to spend some days. Hilarious, by the way, that you need to spend six days in order to recover from one point of damage. 
efforts to develop the Avatar project will likely suffer a substantial decline, at least for the time being. Excellent work. All right, Johnny Bravo is... Who is Johnny Bravo? Oh, Zuhuger. Yeah, of course. And he has Fear of Sonics. Well, that's too bad. That's really too bad. Anyways, I will speed up the healing process. And let's also get these supplies. Because with the supplies we can purchase quite a bit, such as the upgrade for the uh, for the axe. The time is near, for I have learned all that I require to arrive at your And look at that, we got another mission. Holy shit. Do your friends realize that their fate hinges only on your return to the elders' grass? All right, lightly wounded Edgar Allan Poe still takes a couple of days before continuing training, which is fine, it happens. I'm not going to do any soldier bond, uh, bond whilst, they are, um, whilst they are wounded. That usually doesn't go well with the training. That usually does not go with the, uh, well with the training. What a great uh, fo uh, photo boost photo. I... He could bond with someone else, but yeah, none of those are, are really helpful. By the way, very high compatibility 10.0. I've never seen that and I've, I've been playing quite a while. That is a fantastic, like perfect compatibility. Those must be two twins, just of unknown origin. So yeah, well, don't have time to admire the perfection of their compatibility when North America is in shambles because it's time to face yet again the assassin. And holy moly, that's going to be a fun mission. But that's going to happen the next time, uh, time, guys. If you enjoyed what you've seen, feel free to leave a like and a comment down below. That helps the channel to grow and shows action or interaction with the video. It's just how YouTube works as an algorithm. See you all in the next run and have a lovely day. Bye-bye.